Hello everybody. It is Monday. It is Mixed Media Monday and I'm going to forewarn you we seem to be having some internet issues on my end. Um, so if we get disconnected I will look um, up to make sure that um, I'm still streaming and if for some reason you don't see me or I disappear um, I'm sorry. <laughs> But there's nothing I can do about it. I called my internet people. Um, I don't know if it's something on their end, if it's something on Ustream's end, or what. Um, but I've checked everything here. But welcome to my studio. And I am Tracy Weinzaffel, and my dad just said, break out the wine. It's probably a good idea. Okay, so I have about 15 minutes to talk before we start. And I'm going to talk about a few things. Okay? The first thing I'm going to talk about is... Uh, the format of this show. You guys are literally in my studio right now. It's live. You probably see the dogs walk by, the husband walk by, the kids walk by. They'll probably walk in. But um, this is free. If you're not on the chat tab, you can click on the chat tab and you can chat with us. There's a lot of old timers, and I don't mean old people. I mean people who have been coming for a long time. So jump right in. Tell us where you're from. If you're new, Join our Facebook group, which our moderators, we have Lori, Andy, and Mary. Mary is trying to get logged in. Mary is here, or Lori is here, and I'm not sure where Andy is. Um, but I thank you guys for joining me week after week after week because uh, this is like what I consider my home base. And I traveled a little bit last week. I took 24 hours to go be with my cousin for her birthday, and it was probably well needed. I needed a little bit of a break. We all need that sometimes, and I'm obsessed with this pad of paper that I'm tearing apart. But anyway, I wrote notes. So, like I said, it's free. I hope the stream stays with us, and we have no issues, and it's a wonderful, creative night. Um, sometimes that doesn't happen. But anyway, the whole premise of Mixed Media Monday is to use what you have. I recommend what I love, and I show you the products I love, and I'm supported by some wonderful, wonderful companies. And um, April cannot come to an end soon enough. I would like to shove April right out the door and welcome May in. Uh, and Mary Lee just said, how many years have you been doing Mixed Media Mondays? That is an excellent question. I think I have been doing them since... No. Yes. Two th no. Cannot be 2010. 2011? 2011? Okay. Initially, it was, you know, started way back when, another company, and I decided to keep it going for myself when I moved on. And um, I remember that initial jump, and it was just bizarrely insane of what am I doing, and will anybody, if you build it, will they come? And they did. They stayed. Yeah, my mom said, I think, 2010. And my mom and dad were like a couple of initial listeners, and it was just like a way for us to see each other. Only I couldn't see them, so it was kind of creepy. But um, a lot of you remember Mary Lee is one. A lot of you remember back in the day, and um, I cry when I think about it because I thank you so much. Um, this creative path is a long, windy one. You never know which way it's taking you. And yet so many guys, uh, so many of you choose to be here. Which reminds me, um, somebody reminded me that they do not like the format of Mixed Media Monday, that it includes too much chit-chat. I totally recognize that. We're kind of a community. So if you're not part of that or you don't see that, you probably wonder why is she just talking to herself for an hour. I do try to keep it under an hour. Creating an entire painting and showing you a new technique or a new product is not that easy. And also trying to be somewhat entertaining so that you just don't feel like you're watching um, paint dry, which is completely understandable. So it's not for everybody. Um, hi, you tell me. <laughs> uh, and, and Galena. Okay. Okay. See, somebody just said, Galena just said, the chit chat is the fun part. Um, so the other thing is, if you go to my blog, I have a lot of time-lapse videos where you see me do a project in under seven minutes. Okay, that doesn't happen in real life. I'm not Edward Painting Hands. Um, but it is kind of fun. I agree a time-lapse is really good. 
but we're kind of a community and we do have a Facebook group and I understand it's not for everybody. It's not like we are paying for a class. I love the format. Thank you so much for saying that. Yeah, I'm here out of uh, my own time. This is my own show, my own thing, um, which has been really important to me to kind of keep it that same way. And uh, I love that we have such a big following and such a big community. Uh, seems, seems so crazy, okay? So I thank you guys. I don't even know like how to thank you, but tonight I am going to thank you. Um, and I, I wrote a list. It is really great. I kind of feel like it's my home base. It keeps me, we keep, tra okay, Bonnie just said we keep Tracy grounded. As I was saying, it keeps me grounded. It keeps reminding me of what is important. And I'm going to share something with you that happened um, because we're all talking about our inner critic. You know, we all have our inner critic. And sometimes the outer critics, we have the outer critics too. Well, today I had one. <laughs> and I won't tell, say where it came from, um, but I will promise that my art is not for everybody. I know that. <laughs> I don't. I'm not Van Gogh. Uh, and, okay, Lori said no crying. I'm not going to cry. But I, I might. I've actually been pretty emotional lately. Uh, ask John. But, um... I went and visited somewhere and talked to somebody. Um, as you know, I'm teaching more classes, and I'll be talking about that more. But um, she said, email me your information, send me your art. And it was a gallery-type place, and I'm not a gallery artist. I don't have my stuff matted and framed. I don't do very large pieces. I, I do... My thought process is always for the teaching and the inspiration and what it leads other people to do. In fact, my husband wrote the most lovely text message that he gets kudos for. But anyway, um, so after this initial chit-chat, um, I got an email today that was not meant to go to me. And she was not a fan of my work. <laughs> and was emailing somebody else about the potential for me to teach classes. So... Um, I've had to develop in this industry what I would call a kind of rather thick skin, and I do not have one <laughs> at all. <laughs> so when I read it, I was just kind of like, so being the person I am, I really did want to email back my thoughts, but I just emailed back and said, I don't think you intended this to go to me. Of course, she was mortified. <laughs> so, I had to shut off that outside critic who was meeting up with my inside critic, and they were having coffee together. And if you, <laughs> I had to laugh, I actually forwarded it on <laughs> to Andy. <laughs> Because it, it's local and I don't like to burn bridges and I really don't care what you think. <laughs> but um, I thought, oh, they have a really nice space. It might be good for teaching. And by the way, I could probably get a few people to come here. <laughs> so um, I just want you to say that when the outside critic has lunch with the inner critic, um, I'm going to read you what I'm going to read you and I'm not shooting for um, I'm not shooting for you guys to send me messages of you're great I love you I don't want that I mean I do want that send it on because right now my inner critic is out to lunch but I do want to say and I'm going to give credit to my husband he's probably not around but he obviously has been listening to me and I'm going to say this to you all. Art speaks many languages, and yours did not speak to hers, her, and nothing wrong with that, because you know it speaks to many. Well, I should say, by the way, his initial email was, now that person is definitely going on the bad side. Let's go kick her ass. Okay, but that's probably, oh, sorry, Olivia. It's, his text to me says, Art speaks many languages, and yours did not speak to hers, and nothing wrong with that, because you know it speaks to many other people. 
The one thing you do is, do is inspire people. You may not be the next Michelangelo. He has no idea. He's sitting on a gold mine. With your art, but you inspire people to pick up a brush that would never. Uh, and that person that you inspire just might go out and be the next great artist of the world. And that love is priceless. Do not let one person who does not speak your language of love take your passion and ability to inspire others. That would be a shame. And if you need proof, go back and read the numerous emails you have received from people telling you what you have done for them. Or look at your own, own cousin. Okay, this will make me cry. Who is here right now? Um, who has a, uh, he used the word S-H-I-T, uh, disease. But you've inspired her to do even more with her amazing artwork. Now that is an artist in my book. Okay. So... That is, that is my, that was number five on my list when I wrote, um, that was actually going to be something I talked about, but anyway. Uh, so I just want you to know, those are here, you're welcome to join our Facebook group. Please give the link. I want to thank my moderators who week after week show up. I want to thank you guys for the emails, the kudos, and the keep it going, because if I didn't have that, I would probably let my inner critic uh, stay out to lunch, and I would never do this. But I get to do what I love, and I get to do it with so many awesome people, and that is why I do it. Um, it's it's not necessarily, you know, uh, <laughs> Cindy, you need to send him flowers. I don't think he wants flowers. <laughs> That's going to cost me. <laughs> Um, uh, I should tell him to come here. Uh, I will tell him to come here. Uh, but I wanted to, I want to tell you that, um, for those of you who don't get that opportunity in life to say to that person, I don't think you intended this to go to me. You should say it back to them. But anyway, I was pleasant and I was polite. Um, and, and she said she passed my name on to the person who teaches classes. I don't think I'm going to respond very quickly. Okay. So there you go. I did not cry. And that's pretty good because I've been doing a lot of that. Okay. So that brings me to shoving April out the door. We are first going to celebrate Bonnie's birthday tomorrow. And... <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to first celebrate Bonnie's birthday tomorrow. But after that... I'm done with April. We're shoving April out the door. I'm done with it. And that brings me to May, which is my birthday month. It's also my mom's birthday month. And, <laughs> okay, you guys, please don't text me with what he deserves. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> he was copying my words, people. That's the stuff I say to him. <laughs> Really? Okay, I have five minutes. Okay, May is about my birthday. I mean, it's not about me, but let's go back to me. All right? It's not about me, but can we go back to me, please? Okay, it's my birthday month. It's also Hitomi's birthday month, which means we need to celebrate. Um, here's my list of stuff for birthdays. Okay, and here's my calendar for the month. And if you see all that red, okay, those are... Um, the sponsors, and when I'm going to do the blog post, which pretty much is almost like every two to three days, okay? And um, I have prizes from Deco Art, Dare to be Artsy, totally Tracy stamps, obviously, and some other stamps from them. Um, graphics, Canson, Jelly Arts, Beacon Adhesives. Do you remember last year Beacon Adhesives with the gift basket? Oh, Lori just said, April's mine and I want the month over. Okay, we're shoving it out. Okay. Hmm. Dynasty Brush, Stamp Pendus, Marvi Yoshida, Spellbinders, Spellbinders, um, and then Deco Art, Deco Art. I think I got them all. I'm probably forgetting somebody. I think I over, have over 13 or 14 prizes, which is amazeballs. And yes, I said that word, amazeballs. Um, so 
I'm just doing lots of fun. Go to their Facebook page. Go to my Facebook page because it's really kind of great to get that feedback and have all those prizes donated because there really are awesome companies that do support me. This 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 little shack that you see needs support. So um, go to Tracy Weinzaffel Studios. Did you guys just post that without me even saying no? Go to my my personal Facebook page. Not my personal. You can go to my personal, but I don't do much there. I do my personal stuff there. My Tracy Weinzaffel Studios page. Please go like that because that's where I'm going to slam it all the time. I'll have them on my blog as well. So if you subscribe to my blog, you'll get them first when they post every morning at 6 a.m. Okay? So that's my birthday. That's my way to give back. I don't need anything except for an Apple Watch, which I've already asked for. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Okay, the next thing is, I have two minutes. I thought Andy might pop on, but he might not be. Um, the next thing is very exciting. Today, we've already released it. Um, uh, we already released it to the group this weekend, and the response was great. It was kind of like, really, did that many seats just sell with just our group? But today we released it to the public, and um, we are doing Ministry of Mixology. Andy Skinner and myself will be in Chicago, the Rosemont area, October 20-something to the 20-something. <laughs> and I will, by the way, Andy was writing on Facebook this weekend that I turned 60, you know, I, I, I did not turn 60 already, it's an ass, <laughs> okay, um, so it's, it, it is, it is an event, I think we have it priced at like 90, tw there we go, 22nd, 23rd, until May 15th, it is priced at really like $98 a day. It's two days. We are doing an informal meet and greet on Friday night, which translates to you can find us in the bar. Um, and we have um, just a wonderful lineup of teach classes, our classes. And then we have sponsors. And the concept of ministry and mixology, it's been done in England twice. And it is um, a day of... Uh, great classes for not a lot of money. That's the way it is. And Mary Lee just says, I can't believe I'm going to be in Chicago for that weekend and have to go to my nephew's wedding. We'll just, we'll send pictures to him. Um, yeah, so I went to go rent the bar and see how much it was cost. And it was like this exorbitant amount. I'm like, so basically we're just going to say, if you're looking for us and want to meet us, come to the bar. <laughs> but that's what we're doing on Friday night. So if you're debating on whether you want to come and show up on Thursday morning or Saturday morning, or um, you just want to show up on Friday night, that's where we're going to be. We have our vendor setting up. We'll be setting up. I've got the most amazing person who stepped up to be doing our registry and uh, manning my uh, manning the check-in, uh, and she works for CHA, and she's just a great friend of mine, and just excited about the response that we got right out of the gate. It was like, holy mackerel. And... The sponsors. We have Deco Art being a key sponsor, Stampendous, Jelly Art, um, and we go all day Saturday and into the evening. We have making the you know demonstrations, make and takes, that kind of thing. And we have an open art room with a vendor. Speaking of which, if anybody knows any lovely retailers in the Chicago area, I'm looking for a retailer who would like to sell lots of product that weekend. If you do, I would love it. Just send it to me. Um, and what else? I, I think that's it. It's two days. There we go. Thank you. That, that would help. Lori gave the link. I thought Andy would pop on, but he is probably sleeping since it's the middle of the night and I didn't expect him to wake up, but there we go. I think I got it all out. It's 616. We're supposed to start painting and I want to do a giveaway. So if Andy gets on here, we'll do a giveaway. If he doesn't, I'll still do a giveaway, but I wanted to kick off my birthday month and kick April right out the door. So let's 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 talk paint. Um, sorry. Normally I only get fifteen minutes of chit chat, and I really I really let it all out. <laughs> I guess when you get an email, so if you guys all want to go to Facebook and go, don't listen to that person. <laughs> That's awesome. Seriously, 
I tell you guys real life stories because this is what happens and, and this is not an easy, I, I, I kind of was, I wrote a blog post the other night about being an artist and kind of letting your whole soul hang out there. <laughs> then that happens today. I go, oh crap. So I'm going to see if this will show up. Oh, I guess I got to put the camera on it. Oh, there we go. Mary Lee says, I'm going to make one of those cardboard cutouts of me like you do with Andy and put somebody in. <laughs> I like how she doesn't say, I'm going to, um, I, uh, I'm going to make sure that like, you know, I'm just at the event as a cardboard cutout. She says, I'm going to put the cardboard cutout at my, um, <laughs> nephew's wedding. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. My finger, I just smushed. Sorry about that. I have not really been able to paint in the last few days, but I will show you some stuff I have been working on because it's been kind of special actually. Okay, let's see how that is. Do we have light? The Lord said, Let there be light, and we want to make sure. Um, let me turn this off. Okay. Well, so far, I'm going to say it. No, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say that. All right. <laughs> Mary Lee, that is so funny. I like it that you just, you didn't say, hey. All right. Let's, let's make sure that's okay. I, I kind of got a larger piece today. and It's a piece of wood. So I just sewed over the top of it. Carolyn, if you hit F5, that's kind of like the cat. If you're on a um, PC... That's the, um, that is the catch-all, uh, I'm going to show you what, uh, so Bonnie just mentioned this, and I have been working on this diligently, but this was one of our Mixed Media Mondays, I believe. Oh, I think I just got a sliver from this piece of wood. <laughs> I did. So, um, I don't know why we're, okay, I'm a little dark on one side, and I don't like that, so I think we need lighting on this side, and I... I know how exactly how to get it there. You just move it. Okay, there we go. That should be better. It seemed a little dark. It's like a it's like a production in here. It's kind of funny. Okay, that should be a little bit better. Only it's kind of you can see the light. I don't want to be able to see the light. Okay, there we go. That should be a little bit better. Okay, so. This is just something that I really feel very great about working on. And um, like I said, these are just individual pages, which actually are perforated and come out. But these pages each come out. So I'm sharing every one of these as I do them. Um, this is one of my favorite pages, which this is going to be a class, so I haven't shared this. This was done last, I don't know, last week or so. I really did get a sliver. Okay. And I should have brought this, Brian, to show you in person. This is my latest. I was kind of experimenting with background. So I'll show you these. Um, <laughs> Prince died. <laughs> Does anybody? Um, anyway. So that's what I've been working on. The pages that are sitting out are pages that I, I kind of remind myself to share. I pull all the supplies apart just so you can see. I really love this page. This was just, yeah, I really love that big red flower. I really love working on stuff on black backgrounds. Black backgrounds are probably one of my favorite things. I should do a black background tonight. There we go. This gives us some more light. Okay. Wood, wood is good. Is that the motto for tonight? Okay. Um, and then I did this last for a couple. I think I think I did this. So this was, this was kind of fun. I'm sharing this I think tomorrow on my blog. I tried to use the weathered wood and boy did I bomb that. You want to do it again? You want a lesson in weathered wood? Okay. If we don't. So this is a, just a, an MDF board. It looks like this. And I just gessoed the front of it. Okay. And I could actually use black gesso. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do black gesso because I... Oh, are you leaving? I read your text out loud and everybody... Yes. You're just a huge hit tonight. They said I should buy you flowers, nothing else. 
They said you should buy flowers and nothing else. Okay. <laughs> I got to paint. And, okay. This is black gesso. So I'm going to do black gesso. What? Actually, what color am I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to do black gesso, I think. <laughs> oh, I don't know where he's going. So this is black gesso. I love, love black gesso. We could do something with a big dress. How about we do that? Let's just keep it simple. Keep it simple. So I really didn't have to gesso this, but this will go over real easy. I love, love, love black gesso. So Heather, you tried weathered wood and it bombed. Well, let's talk about what you did. Okay. Oh, he really is leaving. Oh, he's probably going to buy me flowers. I'm kidding. Actually, he might be. We were supposed to buy them the other night. If he does, I'm going to feel like a real knob. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is so black gesso just covers like. All right. Everybody's saying John is a sweetie. Okay, let, let me just tell you, he has his moments, people. So get off the sweetie bandwagon. <laughs> Here's my list. I almost gessoed over it. So look at the coverage of black gesso. If you, ooh, and there's imperfections in this wood. Am I hitting? Oh, I did hit record, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Shoot, apron, black gesso. Not a good mix. Okay. Oldie dokie. Uh, how many times did Lori say, put your apron on? And I still didn't put it on. I really do like this shirt, too. All right. Lori, stop yelling at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oop, Jean's making brownies. Jean, you know the rule on Mondays. If you don't have enough for the entire class. I feel like I, uh, I, feel like I covered so much that, like, now I'm going, okay, Jean, make brownies for everybody. I feel like that first 15 minutes was, it's like I just kind of needed to release that. And I did. So I feel good. And the other thing is I started writing on my blog again. And I went and saw the ocean last week. So I had probably a couple of really bad days. Yeah, this is very opaque. Yeah. And it, it dries very matte. So when you do something pretty drastic on it, like if we do a fun, huge flower, which, ooh, isn't that gorgeous? Okay. And I can't believe I'm just sitting here going, yes, this giant black surface is just perfect. But it is. It is. That's what I did with that page. So let's be happy with that. All right. Good. Anyway, so... Um, went to the ocean last week because, oh, a purple flower. I love it, Lord. That's a really awesome idea. Awesome idea. That is a great idea. So I'm just kind of, it's not going to be that purple flower. I love that idea. So we went to the, I, I had a really bad day and, uh, called John and said, you know, I, I just need to go to the beach. When I was single, I used to go to the beach and just stick a blanket out, get some Mexican food, have a glass of wine kind of thing in a red solo cup like a loser but so I said do you want to go because it was just one of those days where I can't think he knew I, eh, I kind of want to be alone but he went with me and we got the Mexican food we go down to the beach La Jolla is where uh Torrey Del Mar Torrey, it's called Torrey Pines or something we go down there <laughs> and I start walking on the beach because we decided to eat the Mexican food and we're just walking down the beach and I haven't been in forever haven't seen the ocean and it's just spectacular it never loses its appeal and so I started walking along the beach and I noticed that they had dumped um probably um what do you call it uh dumpsters dump a big what do you call those uh Oh, loads and loads of huge rocks and huge rocks, like the kind of rocks that you can't sit on. It's not the beach sand. And they had done that for erosion control. So my beach, 
that I have taken the kids to since they were... So when you go to dry this, by the way, you will t know when it's dry because it gets kind of a matte finish to it. So anyway, the beach that I had gone to um, for erosion control purposes against all the bluffs had dumped these just the state of California or county or whatever has put in loads and loads and loads of money into all these loads of rocks that are supposed to prevent erosion, you know, in the bluffs. And oh, so I'm sitting there and we're walking and it's really hard to walk because you're tripping on these, you know, your ankles are uh, not, you're not able to walk on these rocks. Like the pretty like the pretty um, sand that used to be there and I'm just walking along and I just look up and I just look up at God and go, okay, my week is so bad that you literally dumped rocks on my beach. <laughs> He's looking at me. I'm like, did he do this on purpose? Is it just me? <laughs> I, I don't think it was. He, he reiterated to me that he felt, no, it was not. But I don't know. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was meant to burn me. Oh, whoops. I just opened white gesso and I didn't mean to do that. So I hope we're still streaming. Is everybody still there? Everybody gets quiet when I start painting and they're either painting themselves or which I invite you to do. I decided that this edge was going to bug me. It's not a thick edge, but it needs to be Okay, Lori, thank you. You'll tell me if it's not good. It's just hard to paint, look up, look down. You know how it is. So anyway, I had to, nobody even said anything about it. And when I say loads and loads of rocks, and they're just going to wash out. I mean, you know, the bluffs are, the water does its own thing. It's not. So here we go. But very depressing. I used to, I've taken my kids there every summer since they were kids. And I'm not sure that you'd have any room um, to even put a beach. You, know, you can't even put your beach towel down. You'd be sitting on a load of rocks. Okay. That is gorgeous. I never thought I would say that. But that is gorgeous. Here we go. I feel like black gesso in the shirt is probably not a good mix, but I wanted to at least look good. Jean, how are we coming on those brownies? Let's not worry about the weather here. We're all hungry now. I should probably post the photos and so you guys can see it and know that it's not just, you know, a small little, they're not little pebbles kind of cool how I'm watching this dry. It goes really cool. So don't be afraid to do a nice big fat black background. Oh, I'm putting my wet. And then Prince died. I mean, come on. <laughs> Pretty much the day Prince died was like, okay, really? Now I'm, all, you know, come on. Can you guys see it from there? Like changing? Because it, it got really, you know, it's really matte. And so, oh, you can see it. Good. Lori says you can see it. It's really cool. And see, I can see. I'm just looking at Well, am I leaving this black and not doing the weathered wood and giving us some sort of... I could actually do the... It's up to you. I can do the flower straight on this, or I can do the weathered wood. It's... Take a vote. If you want to see the weathered wood in action, it's going to... I'm 
just making sure everything's a little dry because I really don't want to put my sleeve on this either. Really nice coverage. Don't do the weathered wood. Okay, that was from the boss, the lady who actually said. Wow, I don't think I've ever worked on something. Okay, weathered wood. That might change the dynamics of our purple flower, but maybe not. Yeah, okay, just paint. Heather, we can do a private weathered wood. That sounds dirty. I'll talk you through that. It's really you got to work fast is what you got to do. And actually on a surface this big, you got to work really fast. So that is depending on how big the surface was. So let me tell you that. You put the weathered wood down, let it dry, and then... You have, in fact, I don't know what size this was. This was done on weather wood, and I had to work. There we go. See, that's a little bit bigger. Um, I had to work really fast to kind of, oh, okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, should be back. Should be just a bloop. I caught it. All right, I'm back. All right. So that's the trick to weathered wood. Work fast. Because you don't want to go back over it and, and interrupt the process. All right. I don't even... Hmm. Yep. Did I come back? I should be back, Laura. Okay. I should be back. Okay. I know. Oh, did I just get something on it? See, there's a bit of a delay, so I also have to just go, okay. I'm sorry, I just realized I missed a few spots, so I just touched them up with my finger. All right. So you guys just want me to paint. Bad storms, internet, love you. Good night to all. Love you, cuz. Hey, if you're going in um, October, you'll meet my cousin. She's going. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a pencil, which I never do. This is just a white pencil. And I'm going to... That's just a white pencil. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of giving me a little bit of So we're going to do purple. I'm going to just gesso this just a little bit. Alrighty. This is just really loose guidelines. We don't know where this flower is going to go, do we? So take that lady who doesn't like my flowers. <laughs> Now I'm going gesso again. Gesso and gesso and gesso and gesso. I have to tell you, it does feel really good to paint. 
you know how you get out of it for just you know a second Gene, you can't leave the <laughs> Mm hmm Oh, da Donna says, I missed that part. Oh. You know what, Donna? Listen to the recording tomorrow. I kind of... I didn't call anybody out, though. <laughs> and I doubt she's a big follower. <laughs> I doubt she's watching. Oh, boogers. Here we go. I am hitting... Once I see it go off, I'm hitting it right away. Oops. Now I have that song in my head, Purple Rain. Hmm. It is a gesso. There, I'm using a lot of gesso today. All Pretty happy with that. Good. So today we're painting on wood, <laughs> and uh, we are painting with a lot of gesso. All right. That is. That looks kind of cool. So the other thing I'm going to get is paper palettes. I'm going to get some tinting base, which is thinner than like a gesso. And never thought I'd be doing a purple flower in honor of prints. But, and again, all right, I'm just realizing my tinting base is no more. You know what? I'll just use it straight out of the bottle. All right, and I'm going to get purple. Dioxazine purple, which is a very, very, very nice, beautiful, deep purple. If I can find it. Here it is. Give that great. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> so this is a lovely purple. And I'm just running out of this, so I'm just going to use it right out of This is tinting base, but I'm going to kind of use it right out of... So do you see this? I'm mixing tinting base in. Let's see if I can get it better. There we go. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and just start working. Even though that gesso is not dry, I am just going to start layering. I could use a better brush that kind of fans out. It's not so hard. You know what? I have got some good, good brushes that I'm going to dip into. Um, okay. used to painting something so freaking large but I 
All right. Oh. I'm trying to hit refresh as soon as I see a lost. Okay. Uh-oh. Sorry. Lori starts screaming at me. Tracy! Sorry, I didn't... I hit refresh, but not... What you up to? Just punching in, no good. Keep losing the connection. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. You're not the cause of it that I know of, unless you're out there. Hey, is that branch hitting the wire? Yeah. Oh, that wire doesn't go to the internet. Oh, I know where you went. I forgot you had to go pick up Mickey. Go get your daughter. I know, I forgot. All right. All right. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Because it's weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye, people. You can come say hi when I'm done. How about that? You let me know. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. It kind of looks like the coloring is a little bit off when I am, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm just taking the purple and I'm mixing the, I mean, I wouldn't normally do this in the, um, I'm just running out of it. So just kind of my interpretation of this particular flower but oh, you know it works for me So I, I hope if you did not see the beginning 15 minutes of what we talked about today, I hope you guys will go back. It really did mean a lot to me what I said. And, um, <laughs> and if she was one of my Facebook fans, I would say, go on there and say something. <laughs> so if you guys have never painted a flower before, you kind of saw what I did there. It was not, you know... Well, I guess to quote somebody one time who said, you know, oh wait, who was who said that? My, I have had comments. My kindergartner can do, okay, great. <laughs> I understand that, but you know, the point is to pick up the paintbrush and just do it. We all have excuses of why we can't do it, but you can do this. This you can do. Oh, Hatomi had a great question. How does mixing the color with the gesso and tinting base is different? Tinting base is a lot thinner. It's thinner than gesso. Gesso uh, is, you know, is thicker. So um, I use tinting base, well, quite a bit, as you can see. And it goes, it just goes a lot further. Um, but it's so much thinner and it just blends beautifully. And it makes your transparent paints opaque. So remember that. 
So if you ever want to make your transparent paints opaque, that's what you mix with it. Works fabulously. I used to kind of more so mix like titanium white, which you can do, but um, this um, goes a lot further. I'm just using down. There we go. And I'm probably going to come in here with something else. <laughs> no, Mary, but I'll tell you. <laughs> so that tinted base is gone. <laughs> Call me later. No. Then I'm going to take another one of my favorite colors, which I never would. I want to, but I wouldn't. <laughs> No, it's different, Heather. All right, this one, this is got to I'm going to do this, but I'm going to I'm going to do this. So I took a stipple brush in there. Okay. I didn't want to, I don't want to come in there and have like a harsh, harsh, harsh center. So a good way to do that is just to stipple brush it. Hmm. And wipe your brush off. Your brushes will last for a good long time if you wipe them off. Just remember that. <laughs> there, I just buy crap from her. I don't know what it does. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my goodness. got like two big glunks. I don't think glunks is a word, but I think I've got two big glunks. Oh, they're drying there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Those were big glunks. Kind of streaked in the purple. Okay, there we go. I want the brush strokes, but I, I don't want like big blisters of them. Oh, he told me the brush cleaner is amazing. And it's also a jewelry cleaner and a hand cleaner because I, I, I clean my hands in it. going to have to up Joy's paycheck for the month. Okay. So now I need Payne's Gray and I need Carbon Black. All right. A little, a little. Kind of like in this piece. And I'm going to take a little, like a fan brush. Do I have a fan brush? I'm just going to see if I can. Uh oh. <laughs> I forget which one was the Payne's Gray. That's Payne's Gray.
So with this fan brush, and I don't don't go like calling, you know, like your local brush company and go, I, I saw Tracy using this amazing and she does such a good job with her brush strokes. These are not brush strokes, people. I've seen people with brush strokes that are amazing, okay? I I'm not your Bob Ross. What who I am is Tracy Wines Apple, and I just like to freaking paint. Okay. <laughs> Would the brush cleaner work on silk screens? I don't know the answer to that. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not even sure what silk screens absolutely are, so I don't want to um, answer that question. Is that a, an official question that came out? Because if it is, all you need to do is email me, and I will find an answer for you. I'm kind of good like that. If I don't know it, I will find it. Look at that. Okay, I just... It's called brush and stencil cleaner. Just like that. What do you think? I kind of like that. I kind of made that up about the brush thing, but that was the idea. Ooh. Likey, likey. I really like that. Yeah, if you have any questions, I will get the answer for you. And a lot of times I just stick it down. The reason you see it is sticking, I have a glass work surface, so I just stick it in there. Especially like my, um, you know, you don't want to leave. There's certain brushes that are just, you know, so then I just stick it on my work surface and I clean it. But um, I don't like to leave anything on my brushes. That is, thanks, Mom. Don't get too excited. It's not done. I have time to screw it up. <laughs> I kind of like it myself, but like I said, don't talk, people. I might mess it up. No, I, this is the most relaxed I've been in a few weeks, and it's really um, reminded me why I love to paint and why I love a paintbrush in my hand and how much better I feel when I have one in my hand. Okay, I'm looking for a liner brush. Not a little liner brush, a big liner brush. Okie dokie, pokey. What time do I have? Oh, it's 6.55, but we're not doing any words on this, so I'm just going to give it a little bit more depth, and I'm going to talk to you about varnish. I really would love to get this varnish so you can see, but you'll be able to see it tomorrow or the next day. What's tomorrow? Maybe I'll post it tomorrow. Hold on. I'm, I am looking for a brush. I really am. Mm. So a lighter brush is like this. This is a pretty good one. Oh, Yes. Okay, Lori just, uh, she just corrected me, and she is beautiful in doing so. Don't be so mean to yourself. You will not screw it up. <laughs> You're right. There goes my inner critic who's been out to lunch all damn day. Welcome back. So I'm just taking carbon black on my little Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. On my little Dollar Tree palette. And yes, if you go to Ministry of Mixology in October, I will probably be supplying these because I love them so much. How you can fall in love with a piece of styrofoam that you know only cost a dollar for eight, for like a package of 30 of them is just beyond me. But that's me. I really am loving this purple flower. Yeah, everything will be on my blog, so. I promise you. And the photos are even more detailed. Like, I try to really get in and... It's really hard with the camera and the lighting and the, you know. Ooh. Yep. 
Yes. All right. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick of adding. Okay. So carbon black, and I'm going to do some titanium white. So I'm just taking the end, dipping it in the black, kind of dipping it off. But I'm going to go kind of thick on these, and I'm just adding little dots. And I'm doing, ooh, I don't mean to do it that thick, but. And they're kind of, you can't really tell, but they're kind of thick in there. There we go. There we go. I'm going to just wipe the end off. And with my liner brushes, I just dip them. I don't really. So I kind of want this to dry like it is. I don't really want it. I really don't know what to add to it. <laughs> now on this particular piece, I'm going to talk to you about varnish. I Oh, shoot. Did I just stick my elbow? Oh, oh God. I was just sticking to it. So in this particular piece, um, Let's talk varnish for a second because I know a lot of you have that question of how do I get my pieces like real shiny and a lot of these pieces too I will um, do a varnish all my pieces I do a varnish and there's four varnishes in this line um, ultra matte satin high gloss and soft touch so I've even varnished like the flower in high gloss and kept this matte so it's kind of like a contrast but in this case I think I'm going to probably come in and just do a high gloss varnish on this whole piece. I don't know why because I said, that, because I said so. Um, God, I don't know if it needs like any white. I kind of feel like it needs a little bit of white. Hold on. Oops. Yeah, it will really, when you varnish your pieces, boy, oh boy, do they pop. Oh, I think I'm kind of. I think I'm kind of done with this. I almost think I do have time to varnish this. Oh.
Oh, there we go. Cheese OP. Alright. It's not your iPad, people. Oh, man. I seem to have lost the connection altogether. Working on it. There we go. Let's see if I'm back. Am I back? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hope this is one big recording versus. Okay. There we go. Well, we made it through the show, which I'm really thankful for. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this, actually, I don't even have to. Um, I just need to make sure everything is dry, which I really think it is. Oh, buggers. Okay. So... Okay, I think I can actually varnish this because I'm going to do a high gloss, gloss varnish on this. Where is high gloss varnish? Here it is with the glass. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Oh, bite me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh... to my internet people is going to be in order but I am going to go ahead and throw a varnish on this because I didn't do anything that was water soluble on it so all right so I'm going to go ahead and just varnish it and all I'm going to do is find a soft brush that is not this is pretty good and I'm going to I'm just going to dump this on here because and normally, this is pretty, I, hopefully everything's dry, but I never get to varnish on here, boogers, and I probably won't be able to. All right. I was going to say, I never get to varnish on here, and I probably, I'm still not going to be able to. But I am just giving this a nice, even, oops. <laughs> Be too thick coat of varnish. This is getting a high gloss varnish. Now I'm just going to brush off whatever's extra. And I'm just making sure to cover everything. Okay. I hope I'm back. If somebody wants to tell me I'm back, that would be fabulous. And this is... Um, DecoArt also makes like a triple thick, so that would be really pretty on here. Um, and the one thing... Oh, bite me. There we go. All right. I guess this is a way for me to know that it's not, it's time to 
in the show but I've never been able to varnish on here which is kind of a great thing because my brush is too big oh my brush is too big for the so this might not be able to be shared tomorrow because I do need to allow this varnish ample dry time and I'm just making sure that my brush strokes are nice and even and I get everything down and then sometimes I will go in and throw a little dimension on top of the thing but this I think will have a nice okay. all right done I'll take a piece Jean actually Jean I can't I'm trying to lose some weight <laughs> isn't that the story of my life okay so that's gloss varnish yeah tell me I try to you can see on the piece um, it's kind of it's self leveling like it does level out and you want to just make sure but this was raw wood you know with the gesso and stuff so I really wanted to make sure I gave it a good layering so um, I can't really it's very glossy though so what I do is I usually stick this in front of my window And this will, you know, let it dry and just make sure that everything's even on it. I'm just kind of eyeballing. You can kind of see. Oh, eBay. All right. This thing is giving up on me. So let's bring. All right. All right. So hopefully I can kind of show you. There we go. So sorry that my internet kept cutting out, but I'm going to report that. Yeah. I really needed that. That's, it's, I, I, I've always talked varnish with you guys, so I never get to do it, and that kind of was great to be able to do it. Now I just have to stick it on something, and usually I stick it outside. What you want to be careful is if you stick stuff outside, don't stick it in a dusty area. Oh, you can order these. They're on my, ugh, Andy's much better at giving that. Email me and I'll show you where to order them and then I paint them. Well, I don't paint everybody's, I just paint my own, but you can paint your own. I give instructions on how to do that. Thank you. Good idea, Laura, on the purple. So um, anyway, um, and I, I will tell you, if I used anything water soluble on there, I would have um, used a spray varnish first just to make sure that none of the items that I, are water soluble would have gone and brushed off. But in that case, it was really just all acrylic paint that I had used. So I don't know. You know, there might be a title or something when you wake up tomorrow. <laughs> so I don't know if that'll be shared tomorrow or the following day just because I have to give it ample time to dry. When you varnish something, you want to give it many hours of drying. So. I thank you for sticking with me through all of the internet issues and just discussing things. And everything I used will be, um, I will make sure to put that, I just put it all aside, I photograph it, and then you guys, it's all on my website along with the video. So if you missed the first couple of minutes of my intro and things we talked about, ah, thank you so much, you guys. Can't thank you enough. I obviously spent the first 16 minutes of it. Thanks, Donna. And thank you guys. Thank you, Mary. And um, okay, that is my cue to say I will see you guys next Monday. I'm here next Monday. I don't believe I am anywhere. I'm looking to make sure I'm still logged on. Uh, and my birthday is the 4th. I think that's next week. But I, I have plans on the 3rd. <laughs> I don't even know what next Monday's date is. The second. Okay, guys. There we go. Thank you so much. So I will see you guys next week, which is my birthday week, and stay tuned for all the birthday stuff that's happening. There we go. Lori got it. See? My moderators keep it together. And we welcome. I welcome you to paint your apron. Don't just buy your apron and leave it plain. It's more fun to paint it. All right. Thank you, guys. Yes, my moderators do rock, because otherwise I wouldn't know where to tell anybody to go. I'd know where I wanted to tell that one lady to go. No. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom.
Thanks, moderators. Thank you, guys. I will see you all next Monday. Hopefully this is one recording and not 12. Thank you.